Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a mass kidding up event. I don't know if it's an event, but um, I'm kidding up for two now, so... <laughs> so I'm going to kid up. I don't even know how many of these are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, eight. I have some some glasses places here too, which I'll think I'll kid up to nine. So it's a massive kidding up um, thing. So um, mainly because like I said, I'm kidding up for two now. Um, so some of these I'm going to do, some of them my mom's going to do, some of them may, may not get done. I don't know. Um, I'm mainly kidding these up because um, I'm going to be hanging out with my at my sister's house for a week. Me and my mom are going to be hanging out. That's such bad grammar. My mom and I are going to be hanging out at my sister's house. And well, I need to do a mass kidding up so that we have enough to do because while we're there. So first one I'm going to do is this one. This is actually a um, regular diamond painting, regular round diamond painting. It's this one. So um, I'm also testing out my new um, <laughs> journal, which I kind of just made. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm testing it out using that disc bound system so that I'll be able to put these things in, in order. Like, cause I've been using my journal and I've been putting the stuff in order of when I start, but I'd prefer to have the my journal in order of when I finish, so this will allow me hopefully to be able to put my stuff in order of finish. And this was just me testing out my pens to see if it would leak through. I did get like a slightly heavier paper, I think it was a 28 pound paper. Um, but yeah. So, like I said, testing out the new journal thing and I figure um, I printed it directly on See, these are all my pictures. Here it is. Here's the picture. Um, so, I figure. So normally I would stick this on while into my journal after I start, but since I'm putting my journal in directly in there, and I... I did just unbox all of these, and you will see the unboxing with hopefully the finish video of these. So be kind cat. And this one looks like it has, it's a full drill on poured glue and there's 23 colors and these are round. There is a DMC code and this is getting kitted up today, which is 12, 20, 2021. Um, so this should be I think the schedule for this will be that this will be posted on December 31st. So goodbye 2021. <laughs> Hopefully 2022 will be much better. So this is a 35 by 25. Okay. So and because I've started getting lazy and I've just been cutting out the legend since there's two of them to make stickers. Let's do that for this one. Oh, did I not cut this out completely? So yeah, I made a new journal thing. I'm, I'm, we'll see if I like how it goes. I pondered making it landscape, like I have it landscape right now, just because it was just easier to put in all the pictures and stuff. When I had it this way, I was thinking that this would take up too much. I don't know. I might change it to go that this way. Yeah, I think I would still have the same amount of this will still take up just as much paper. I don't know. All I know is I was pondering how, oh, I think it was mainly this label here so that I'd be able to put it in portrait or landscape. Yeah, pondering. So if, if I don't like this orientation, the next time I print pages, I'll do it the other way. Um, and then my plan was 
that when I have two, I was going to put in the finished picture here and then, well, I was going to have it this way, put the finished picture here and the legend up here too. Yeah. That's my tentative plans for now. Tentative. You know, let's see. Oh, wait, are there other ones that I could cut the legend for? Because I think it would be easier if I can... do two at once. Something that has the same length. So this butterfly one is probably the closest in length. So let's do this butterfly one here. Oh, I think I'm actually cutting the plastic. Oops. So I guess butterfly will be next. <laughs> and that's mainly so that I could just have the legend. Or mainly so that I don't waste the sticker paper. So... Just putting it through my Xyron sticker maker. I find that with these smaller ones, I haven't been making the effort to scan the legend and put it on my sticker paper anymore. I was doing it and then I just kind of stopped because you know what? I cut out all my diamond paintings anyway, so, so I might as well just cut out the legend anyway, and when there's two, I usually do it this way. So I'm just gonna cut that in half there, and I guess I'm cutting it this way. I will probably still scan the legend and make labels from it for the bigger diamond paintings, but for these small ones, I just haven't seen it be worth the effort to do, so I've just been doing it with doing the legend, and since I cut out all my finishes anyway, I figure, why not do it this way? Okay, so not gonna have, there's not enough to hold. So you kind of want to cut this so that there's still a little bit of the sticker paper at the edge so that, or the sticker backing at the edge so that they don't completely fall apart. There. So just going to use one of these ones with the 28 stuck together, mainly because I use the ones with the individual pieces for my, um, what do you call that? Why can't I not think of words? I use the little individual pieces ones for my, um, specials because those are a little bit harder to get down. So this is actually $3.99 cat. And I'm just making a label to put onto the containers. And this is just like la leftover labels from like the edges of certain labels that I just had left over just, just because. And I should write down that this one is number 399. That's just so that I know which box to do. And if not, I have my, my inventory sheet or my my journal here, hopefully, to be able to match everything up. So, so yeah, isn't this cute in a world where you can be anything behind? <laughs> so, where is... Oh, and I'll link everything below, but this is from DP Clubs. So, number one.
so yeah, I, I, I took the, the week um, before Christmas off since tomorrow my mom has an appointment in Seattle. So um, I, we figured just stick around Seattle um, until Christmas and stay at my sister's house. And I'm kidding all of this up just because, I don't know, <laughs> I mean, we might do things together, but there's still lots of free time when you're just kind of visiting family, and plus, it's cold now. It's actually snow. It was snowing earlier this morning um, outside, which is usually does not happen unless you go to the mountains. I mean, it has been, it has been snowing a couple times in the year, but usually not enough to to stick. You know what, I think there's 23. You know, I'm there might be a lot that have a lot, so I'm going to just... I was pondering whether to just go to the next one since number four is going to need a couple more containers. So... And with not knowing if I'm going to be the one diamond painting this or my mom's going to be the one diamond painting this, I'll probably put a label and say that this is supposed to be 310. See, if I had put it all into here, it would have just filled up the four. Let's see. So, just going to say this is W310, and I'm just using, like I said, this is just leftover label paper from previous things I labeled, because apparently no label left behind. So number five. So yeah, um, it was actually snowing this morning. Um, I hope it actually doesn't snow too much because I'm tomorrow we're going to be driving to Seattle and I don't want to have to deal with driving in snow or I don't think it is. I was reading that it's a mixture of rain and snow and right now it was snowing but there's no snow on the ground so it's just pretty much melting as soon as it touches the ground but yeah I don't want to deal with having to drive in snow. I will take the snow melting but not driving in snow because I don't I don't really have the skill. I need I need to get the skill to drive in snow. But it just causes all sorts of problems because there's hills and Seattle is hilly. Um, and then, yeah, I'm not the most skilled at driving in snow, so I, while it would be nice to have, I don't know, maybe, maybe it could snow as long as I'm not leaving, because I'm that selfish, as long as it's not, it's not me that's out there, it could snow, right? But it would be actually kind of pretty to have a white Christmas, um, But, while traveling, no, I don't want... Okay, so 9 has 3 containers, so... So let me make sure number 9 is F, yeah. So... This might take up the whole 4 of these. So let me get my label here, and this is F452. And I'm just going to label the first one because I know the ones next to it, yep, that fell. Oh well, um, at least it fell in the tray. I know the ones next to it will be the same color because Because I just know, but when it's on the next, it's the on the next container. I like to label it to really make sure. 
so. Yeah, I'm gonna need the fourth one. I was thinking, do I, can I fit them all? Hopefully I'll actually have enough containers. So I have 12 left. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, this is not looking good. Not looking good. Maybe, maybe I can squeeze this in. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, this is not going to fit. You know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do is get one of my other containers. I have one of these containers here and I'm going to just transfer this into here. So this is one of those ones with um, two of the 28 drill containers and I'm mainly transferring it into there because I don't want to have to, oh yeah, this is the one where it won't close, so I, I put an X on there. Um, then I don't want to have to deal with two containers or something. So, so yeah, I think this one just has... Usually one of these will fit in there into the 28 row container, but this one has a lot of colors that have a lot of it. So, so yeah, T is going to probably need three. Um, so... And I do have I do have a couple of these ones with the two 28 drill containers. So what is that more 56 containers? So make use of it. Oh. So, yeah, <clears throat> so this, yeah, like I said, I think this is supposed to be posted on the 31st of December, so it should be my last video of 2021. Um, I actually have, I have one more video I have to record after this, and I should have all of my 2021 videos already recorded. Um, I do have actually a couple of my kidding downs for 2022 already. Um, recorded. I'm actually, one of them is uploading right now because the long videos actually take a long time to upload on YouTube. So, um, so sometimes I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go set my computer to upload something and then I'll go record a video because it takes a long time to upload the, the hour long videos and my kidding downs tend to be hour long videos because I tend to kit down a lot at once. Um, but I mean, it seems like I'm doing that for kidding up too. Kid up a lot at once since, like I said, I'm kidding up for two now. Since, yeah, a couple of these my mom will do and a couple of them I will do. I think actually most of these, if my mom wants to do them, she'll probably do most of these. I'm actually working on some of my bigger diamond paintings, um, because I think... Right now, my mom prefers to do the smaller ones, so at least I'm getting a good amount of my stash of diamond painted. I think I, yeah, by the time this gets posted, um, I already made a video of the first 12 diamond paintings that my mom finished, so you should have seen that already. Because I think that was supposed that's going to be on the past Wednesday, um, and, and since then she's actually diamond painted a couple more. Um, so maybe I'll show her finishes like every twelve finishes. You know that sounds like a nice number. Every dozen finishes. So. You know, if I knew I was going to need <laughs> this extra one, I would have probably started this one on the next one so that all the W's were next to each other and all that stuff. But yeah, I just need an extra four. 
So I might kit up one of the other ones next to this one, just so that. Don't have as many containers because I have to transport these. Yeah, now so I'm thinking, how am I going to transport these? I think might just have an extra bag just with the diamond paintings. <laughs> and then I'll see if my sister would want to do one. Um, she actually has done two so far. I have not shown them on my channel because they're at her house. Um, So I mean, I guess I could record this, but it didn't seem worth worth the effort to record the two that she finished. But yeah, since all my recording stuff is at my place. So there's the first one kitted up. And... Next one, since I already cut out the, since I already cut out the legend there, is this one. It's this butterfly one. Let's put it into my next page of my journal. Let's see. Here's the butterfly. Here. Butterfly. Butterfly and flower. That's probably what I called it. <laughs> okay, so this is a 34 by 24. 34 by 24. It's it's pretty much a full. I'll call it. No, it's a full. Yeah, let's call it a full. It's on poured glue. There is 15 colors. There is, if I could find this, CU033. Here it is. CU033. There is no crystal codes, and this is getting kitted, kitted up. 12, 20, 20, 21. Um, and let's see. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, it looks like nine crystal rhinestones. The regular size and specials are just anything that's outside of the regular size drills. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah, that is 15. So, we're gonna use these 28 separate 28 drill containers here. Um, and I already made that and this is number 400 butterfly and let me write down number 400 here so wow my pen bleeds too much that maybe I should just get my regular pen that's why I th sometimes I have like my my really thin pen out here too. So, okay, so let me cut out this here. Ordinarily, I would just write out the symbols, but this one has way more symbols than just numbers, and I don't, I don't draw the symbols well, so I'd rather just do this, cut out the legend, and make labels from them. There. So number one, oh that's 15. Number one is actually starts out with the specials here. It does look like a marquee on the symbols here. So 
let's see what to talk about. Uh, I haven't actually gotten bought storage in a while. <laughs> so yay me. Although there is one that I have my eye on and I was going to buy it if it went on sale during Black Friday and it didn't. So I think it just might be one of, and I've been waiting for it to go on sale. So it might just be one of those things that don't go on sale. And so, yeah, I think I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Yeah, I'll wait till New Year. I'm away from the house. I don't want the stuff to come in during, come in while I'm out. So yeah, I got, yeah. I was tempted to buy more Harbor Freight storage, but it got more expensive, so I didn't buy it. Because I was, yeah, when I went to drop my dad off at the airport, um, I was like, ooh, maybe I should go to a Harbor Freight. Because <laughs> the closest Harbor Freight to me is, like, I have to cross a bridge, so I don't tend to go to it unless, you know... I don't tend to just, I don't just tend to go to it for no reason, so. So when I'm like in the neighborhood, I'm thinking, oh, I should go buy some storage. And then when I went to look up how much it was prior to going there, because I was going to um, figure out which one to go to, I, I saw it, I think it was at $6.99. And when I first bought the Harbor Freight storage, it was, um, I think it was only $4.99, and then the second time, or the third time I bought it, yes, third, um, it was $5.99, and then when I checked, it became $6.99, so I was like, you know what, instead of buying more, I'm just going to, I'm just going to try out some other storage, because as much as I like the Harbor Freights, they're becoming pricier enough that other storage is starting to catch up to it in affordability. Does that make sense? So. There's a lot of that color. I'm gonna put some lotion on. My hands are getting dry. Um, hazards of it being it's not yet winter. I think winter starts on the 21st of December and it's the 20th for me. Um, it's winter for you already for when this gets posted. At least those of us who live, what, in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, because isn't it summer in the Southern Hemisphere? Um, oh, I don't think that's going to fit. So, yeah, hazards. One, we get more static, which is always fun, right? Especially diamond painting and then the drills just kind of fly everywhere, especially kidding up. Um, I did prior to recording the video, I did spray my table with the anti-static spray. Um, I'm just hoping that that would just be enough to mitigate the static. Um, because I think the previous kitting up I did, I hit the static, so. Yeah, that's not gonna all fit. This one has a lot of blue. This seems, oops, there's still some more. This seems to be like the predominant background color in like this type of this color blue. So in the rhinestones, there are a lot less, um, I guess, variety of colors. So the background tends to like, if it's a blue background, it tends to be all the same blue background. And I'm doing a lot of specials, mainly because specials are my second favorite type of diamond painting drill. Um, af squares being my favorite. And my mom, this is her favorite type, these special ones. She has done, like, two regular drill ones. Um, regular round drill ones. She doesn't want to do any squares. She's like, nope, I don't want squares. <laughs> I'm like, okay, more squares for me? I don't know. Um, she has done two regular drill ones, but she prefers the specials. So 
which is good because I have... I prefer getting the specials for these smaller ones too. And rounds are my, I guess, least favorite type. Not that I won't do them, they're just my least favorite type of diamond painting. And the places like DP Clubs doesn't have as many squares. And the only squares I really kind of like doing are the bigger ones. So, so yeah, usually I end up getting these specials or some, some rounds. So, and then I kind of leave my squares to the more not budget friendly diamond painting sites. Um, so, mainly because if you're going to get a square, you want like a known quality square because squares tend to have the most annoyances when diamond painting them. It's 13, yep. Because the symbol is like orange and then this drill is blue, so I'm thinking, like, I've noticed that in these um, diamond paintings, the when you see the rendering of the specials, it looks much different once it's actually diamond painted than what's on the canvas, so we will see how this looks in the end, right? I've had I had folks tell me that you don't have to find things to talk about. It's fine. You can still just kid up. And I'm like, that's a nice comfort because <laughs> finding things to talk about. There's like some random garbage. In finding things to talk about. It's not some. It's not the easiest thing to do sometimes. So there's the butterfly kitted up. So let's see. What's the next one I should do? Here's this elk. And let's, yeah, it's all symbolage. So I'm going to actually cut out the legend here because it's all symbols too. Oh, here's some. I have to say that deer pictures or elk, I don't know. I think the, 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 The listing for it called it an elk. So we'll call it, go for an elk. Um, the deer pictures usually end up pretty good as diamond paintings. So, and then let's see, is there another one with a legend that I could do at the same time as this one? This one's actually pretty wide. I don't know. Is there two? Yeah, there's two. Um, this one's actually pretty wide, so. I don't know if both of them would fit. And this one's like all legend too. I mean all symbol too, so I don't know if I'd want to draw that. Will this fit in my sticker maker? Yeah, I think it will. Okay, so those two will do elk first, or it doesn't matter which one we do first. They're all getting done. Oh, there. Okay. this in half here. So we're doing uh, the elk picture first. Here's the elk. My book here. So when I went and was trying to figure out if I was just going to buy a 
disc bound like journal or make my own I was I was looking I was like they're a lot they were like expensive the journals the pre-made ones I was like really that's how much it is and then but then when I went to look up how much the the hole punches are they were expensive too I'm like wow and then so then I pondered whether just to get a notebook or get a um or just get the whole punch and then make my own notebook and get 24 but 34 or um well obviously you see what i decided um whether to get the notebook and just get label paper so then in the end i decided to just get my own paper and decided to make my own notebooks instead of the buy one that was pre-made mainly because I was gonna have to buy label paper anyway if I was going to put my journal entry um what do you call that my journal entry template in and well I mean I was gonna I, I have to get label paper anyway for the pictures but I figure if I oops there's no space for these ones I figure with yeah, I figure I would be able to do a little bit more if I made my own. Um, I don't have the nicest covers because... What is this one? This one is number 403. CU093. What's this one? I, I figured, you know, with... That... I would eventually be able to use it for more things, so that I, I did end up buying uh, a punch, a hole punch for the the disc bound journal. Even though they are they are quite pricey, the hole punches. Um, considering it's just a freaking hole punch, <laughs> so I'm gonna call this. It's a it's a full diamond painting. It's on poured glue. There is 16 colors. There is no code. And it's still 1220, 2021. And let's see, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine regular crystal rhinestones. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven specials. Yep, that it, that does mean sixteen. Yay for math. <laughs> so yeah, I decided. Yep, just just buy the stuff. So I bought I bought the whole punch, and then I bought these. Um, what do you call it? The discs. I did just buy the small discs because I kind of I kind of didn't want to make a really thick journal, and I was just going to make a new journal. Um, when that one just got too full, um, I might change my mind in the future, but for now I just decided to just do a smaller ring just, and then start up a new journal when, when it gets too full for the rings. And mainly, so one, I'm not carrying a big heavy journal, and two, it will make it easier to lift up when I'm showing it on screen <laughs> instead of like lifting up a heavier journal. Not that the one that I'm using is much heavier because it's a full like eight and a half by 11 while this one is just a half sheet. Um, but, but yeah, no, I figure I'll just make a small one. If I want to buy bigger rings, I could buy the bigger rings, but yeah. Like I said, I might change my mind. I might not like this format for the journal. I might change out my journal. Um, we'll see. I'm just testing it out, and if I don't like it, then I could change things, right? I could change how I... I, I so I, I, I put in a lot more information than I normally do. Like, I, I put in like a slot for me talking about my rendering and the canvas, the symbols, how sticky it is, and the drills, and gapping, and I might just, 
be like, yeah, that's too much effort to write down for each one. <laughs> but we'll see. I figure if I put a spot in there, it will cause me to, to like at least write a comment about it. I was thinking of doing like a one to five <clears throat> like system, like, you know, a one to five star system, but I don't like ranking things with numbers because what ends up happening for me at least is um, I tend never to say anything is a one or never I never say anything is a five. So it would have just been like a two to four <laughs> ranking system so I figure if I just leave a space there for me to just write any comment like excellent or average something like that I could just put that in because once I start putting in like number systems like stars yeah no I'm never gonna say five and I'm never gonna say one unless actually I'm more likely to say one than I am to say five but I'm never gonna say five so <clears throat> I decided not to do a ranking system but just see if I could put in an appropriate adjective when <laughs> I'm writing in the journal. Now the ones my mom does, yeah, she doesn't usually have an opinion. She's just like, it's nice. <laughs> so I'll just show the finishes of anything that my mom does, but unfortunately my review won't be as complete with them because when you're not the one diamond painting it, you don't end up forming like an attachment to it and you don't remember anything about it because you didn't do it. It's, it's like you end up spending hours diamond painting so if you're the one doing it you you get like a you kind of get attached to it um, because you spent you know the time doing it so that's when you end up having an opinion about the diamond painting but when you're not the one who does it, you don't end up having that same opinion. You just kind of see it as a finish. <clears throat> and you can see of like how it looks. It's, oh, look, it's pretty. Uh, but you don't have the same... You didn't go through the same experience of diamond painting it. So that's what I've been finding whenever I'm, I've been showing my mom's finishes. Is that I'm like, uh, it's nice. <laughs> but you don't have the same level of attachment to it kind of weird because because I guess the ones that you do are your babies these are my my finishes because I because um my mom asked me like what are you gonna sell these ones and I'm, and I'm really reluctant I don't want to sell them I I spent time doing them <laughs> And is there even a market for finished diamond paintings? I don't know. Has anyone ever actually sold a diamond painting that you did? I mean, I'd be willing to give them as gifts, but it just seems weird to sell them. But that could just be me. I have seen that people actually pay someone to finish a diamond painting for them, which is, I don't know, would I, I don't know if I would enjoy, would I enjoy diamond painting, a diamond painting for someone else? Maybe. But I think that would just add extra pressure to it, and then, yeah, I don't know if it'll be as fun. <laughs> And, you know, I diamond paint a lot based off of colors and things, and someone else's diamond painting preference might not be my diamond painting preference. And would I, would I enjoy diamond painting it as much? Probably not. Looks like the last ones are going to be all these blues. And it's probably going to take up a lot of the rest of the containers, but it's actually kind of good that they're in the end. elk one's gonna turn out really beautiful like the type of drills on this thing are like the specials are really nice looking <laughs> so four let's see I'm gonna have I need at least two for just this container here and then that one's full, so let's open another two. 
for the next bag. See, this one is called four. The symbol is four, but the number of the on the canvas is 14. So I could see where this could get kind of confusing. If you're new to diamond painting and you're just like, I don't know what's going on. I could see where on the legend it says this is 14 here. And, but like, like color number 14, I guess. And if you're, you're new, you're, you're like looking at that. What does that mean? I am discovering things that I completely forgot as a new diamond painter. Now that I've done so many, it's like those things that in the beginning that you forgot about. And then I'm rediscovering them since my mom has started diamond painting. And I've found different issues that she has that I never had. So it's nice to have a second diamond painter in the house. At least she doesn't think I'm crazy for doing all these diamond paintings. <laughs> or maybe she does. And she's just going along with the crazy. So. More blue, I think. Oh. Because they are different sizes. I might label them. They're all the same color. obvious they are different sizes and then number six I'm pondering whether to label all those other ones now nah, I think it's obvious This will actually fit all into one container. Nope. Okay, so next diamond painting done. My mass diamond painting. And then this mandala. I've read this one's gonna need ironing. DZ240. for this one. My Okay, so I'll hold off on this one <laughs> until I can find the drills for it. Um, we'll do this one. Maybe it's just DZ247, but it says DZ240. I might have to watch back the video of me unboxing this to figure out what the drills are. Um, okay, so we'll do this one instead. There are two legends, just making sure, because I won't cut this out. I would just write it out if there was only if there was only one legend, I'd write I'd write the labels out for this one, but it does have two legends. So I guess and I don't have another done painting that I need to make labels for, so I guess this one will be the solo done painting. It'll weigh so much more sticker paper. Oh, it's not going through. I think I'm going to turn this around because it is a little bent down there. There. I am using my sticker maker a lot more. I'm hoping like I'm gonna randomly see the sticker maker cartridges like on sale sometime. I think they might sell them in like craft stores so I might be able to just go in there and hopefully 
go in when there's like a sale and be able to buy because when i bought my the sticker maker the the in the the refills were like less than five dollars so and now they're not less than five dollars they're way more than that so well i don't know if it's way more but it's significantly enough of a difference so so next one we're on the next page here so it's this one here my sticker here and it's this one but yeah that's why I decided to do it this way because um, it fits both a landscape picture and the um, portrait picture so but so 25 by 35 so oh, H <laughs> I didn't check if I found if I have these rules H 168 that's this one Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to look back and watch my video to find the drills for the mandala. Um, but I haven't put anything away, so one of these are probably it. It's just, yeah. Because I just unboxed them and I didn't put anything away, so... So this one is a partial diamond painting on poured glue. There is 12 colors. This is kitted up 12, 20, 20, 21. There is the crystal code on it. And let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, five crystal rhinestone colors and one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven specials. Yes, that does, that does equal 12, just making sure. <laughs> So let's do another one of these. I might be able to kick this up with something else because I did have to actually, I was planning to record this video yesterday. Um, it was just, um, I realized I didn't have enough storage. So I recorded a kidding down video yesterday instead. Um, and then I just didn't have the energy to do a kidding up video, so I'm recording this now instead. So this is number 402. I'm gonna call it Butterfly. Flower. And I'm just putting it in here so that I know which diamond painting is in here. Oh, and I should say that this is number 402. There. Oh, 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 my strip is falling. Okay. So, number one in my mask kidding up extravaganza. So, this might be an actually long video. But hey, if you're watching this on New Year's Day and you're waiting for um, the clock to strike 12, here's a nice, pro hopefully, uh, not sleep inducing way to get to that point. Um, But yeah, let's hope that 2022 goes back to closer to 2019 kind of normal. Or will we ever get back to normal? I think, yeah. I think things have permanently changed. Things have permanently changed. Um, I think just having the more telecommuting options has probably changed the workplace significantly even after um, if things go back to 2019 normal I'm guessing there's still going to be a lot more working from home options for lots of places but it will take away all the crazy restrictions of the not working from home situations because yeah I'm just telling you dealing with 
not dealing with working outside of the house must be a pain. Because <laughs> I lived through it too. <laughs> At my work, they did lift um, a few, a little, some of the restrictions. Um, we don't have the um, capacity limits anymore. Probably because we have a, um, we, we all had to actually get vaccinated, so they lifted the, the capacity limits. We do still have to, um, we, uh, we still do have to do a health screening and we still have to do, um, Sign in, sign in and say which exact rooms we, oh, these are still number six, which rooms we are, we occupied when we went in during that day. So there is still that, but at least now we don't have, we don't get, we don't have to totally change our schedules because we can't all be at this, in the room at the same time so that's nice because it was getting it was hard with the with our where our office cubicles were and we had to do a checkerboard pattern as in every other cubicle was not supposed to be occupied it just got difficult on and because yeah you had your off week and your on week and it was just it was just too it was just too difficult to find where to work during your off week so oh this is number nine it's a good thing i saw that so that i could get that one instead and then oh i kept the the baggie because I keep all my baggies for when I get down. Those are unfortunately were the smaller baggies that I don't use, but um, if I run out of my bigger ones, then I use the smaller ones. Oh, this one is there. Yeah, I think this one's gonna turn out pretty too. Let's see. Number 11. I hope I figure out <laughs> where my drills for my mandala are. Um, I'm hoping it's not that I got sent the wrong drills. It could be. Because, yeah, I haven't put these away, so it's it has to be somewhere. It, I'll probably deal with it after the video, unless it's obvious it's one of these. Oh, no more. Okay, there's that one done. And the monkey one. Let's see, monkey. DZ032. That's this one. There is. I'm, I'm pondering if it'll could fit into here. So let's see, monkey, 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 monkey. Yeah, no, I just thought I like doing these really cute ones too. Sometimes they're just they're just enjoyable to do. It takes you like a day to finish them. Um, monkey. And they usually are just, just a lot of fun and cute to do. So let's see, this is probably a 15 by 15. 15. Yep. It's 15 by 15. It's, it's pretty much a full. I'll call it a full. It's on poured blue. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
11 colors, so maybe it might fit in there. Um, I think it will. I think it will. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crystal rhinestones and two specials. And is there a crystal code? Nope. And it's still 12, 20, 2021. 20, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna see if it'll fit in here. Since I only need 11, hopefully, well, if, if I need to, I'll use that last one there. Um, so yeah, here. What number is monkey? The no, monkey is actually number 396 monkey. And Let's call the monkey number 396. Okay. At least I'm getting use of my leftover. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna have to make labels for this one just because there is none so i might just write it out on this one here so let's see one two three four five six seven a b c d b c d okay so this is just like the edge of some label paper that I did not end up using, but I'm using now. Okay, so. Number one. So I hope you guys had a good Christmas and we'll have a nice New Year's Eve. Um, it's still in the future for me, so I can't tell you if my Christmas was good or not. <laughs> because it's not yet Christmas. But I am recording this ahead of schedule. I'm actually, yeah. I have one more video to record after this, and then I will have all of my 2021 stuff recorded. Um, I wonder how many more I'm going to get finished, because um, I am going to record probably the coming weekend for you, for me, like in two weeks, um, my 2021 finishes video, which... Yeah, I think I'm going to just do the last half of 2021 just based off of the quantity of diamond paintings I have done since June, since July. Yeah. And I'll just put in a link for the first half of 2021 video instead of doing a massively long all of my 2021 finishes. Um... Pondering whether to add my mom's finishes. I might just put it at the end or put it at the beginning. I don't know. Makes hers a separate video. <laughs> oh, put that's upside down. But yeah, I think I think with yeah. The quantity I have done. I think I'll just do the July through December diamond painting finishes video instead of repeating my January to June ones. Because I, I, I just feel exhausted just thinking of putting it all together. <laughs> yeah. So. Actually, believe it or not, 
almost finished with my Dreamer Designs Christmas house one. So I think I actually might finish that for 2021. Because um, I was, I think when I was kidding that up, I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to finish it until like <laughs> before the winter is done. But I'm actually, like I guess I'm almost done. I think I need two more days for it. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it before um, going to my sister's house for Christmas, but the following week I should be back at my house and I'll be able to finish it. Spoilers, not <laughs> So you'll probably see, if, if I finish it, you'll see that in my 2021 finished video before the review for it comes up because yeah, I'm pondering whether to frame it or not because I do know I'm going to frame it for next year but then it's not going to be put up on my wall until Christmas so yeah I'm pondering how to store it since it's a bigger one I might I don't know if I'm gonna just store it um, rolled up and then frame it next year yeah I'm pondering I'm pondering how to store it it is a big one um, I do still have the box for it so I could store it back in the box. I know that's what a lot of people do for the big ones. I do have a big art portfolio bag that will fit it. I just need to buy some, um, what do they call that? Foam board to put into it so that it doesn't fold. That's what I might do, I don't know. So there's the monkey done. And I do have this cactus. So cactus DZ047. It's this one. And like I said, I did a I did a kidding down yesterday. You won't see that kidding down. My kidding downs are like um, recorded way in advance now because yeah I think I have already a couple for my January scheduled for January already because I've already finished doing the kidding downs out of necessity of needing storage um, the cactus well the cactus has a lot of color the cactus has lots of colors okay cactus Yeah, that's the right number. I'm just making sure. See, now, now I'm pondering if I even have the drills for the, for the mandala. So I'm gonna have to go look. I'm gonna have to go watch back my, my, um, unboxing video. Because, yeah, I don't think I have the drills for it. So, my cactus is probably 15 by 15. Ooh, maybe I could get my sister to do the, these small ones. They're really cute. And they're quick to do. Let's see. So, 15. Oh, yeah. And then it is a full down painting with cord glue. There is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 colors. 18 colors and, okay, that's a lot of colors. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 are crystal rhinestone. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are special shapes. And I mean, some of them are crystal rhinestones. The only ones I call crystal rhinestones are the ones that are like regular. Um, there are no codes, and it's still 12, 20, 20, 21. Um, there are no codes in there, so. My journal, okay. Oh, I have to make labels for this one too. So, twice. 
still have some label paper here. Okay. So I might. No, these are not going to work. So I have label paper here. Oh, these ones I actually already cut. So this might work. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, B, C, D, B, C. I can see it cut, but it's like hard to see. D, F, H, J, K, J, K, L, N, P, N, P. And the cactus is number 395. So maybe I'll make the number one better. 395 cactus. So hopefully I'll be able to fit both labels on there. I think I should be fine. No. There. Number one, 395 cactus. So yeah, this is just like leftover labels, paper from leftover labels that I printed. And I just keep it because apparently, I don't know how to throw things away. Um, oh, that's not going to fit. But yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> I'll, I'll just continue talking about the... Did I say it's snowing outside? Yes, it is. Um, I probably did. I just hope that there's no power outages and things like... Um, like a couple weeks ago, there was a... Like a six hour power outage at my house. And it was, it was annoying because... It started at like 6 a.m. and then it went on until about 12. No, it was like it was more than six hours. It was like it was like 6:15 to like 12:30 um, noon ish time, and it was getting cold. I ended up diamond painting because there was nothing else I could do really. But I was planning to record, and technically I could have recorded because um, as long as I have battery charge on my tablet, I could have recorded, but I decided not to because it could have stopped. Like, you know how sometimes battery says you have X amount of time, um, and in, in reality it's, all, it's less than that. Um, so I decided not to record, and I started, I was like diamond painting, and it was, it was not, so the thing is, even though it was daylight, it was still dark and dreary because it was kind of storming that day. So, yeah, it was. I was diamond painting, and I had to move my table closer to the window, and then and then suddenly the the light went away, and then I couldn't diamond paint anymore. And yeah, I actually did. Well, I think I did pretty well considering there was no <laughs> there was no power. But I do hope the power doesn't go out again. Um, at least, yeah, because it's too cold not to have. It's too cold not to have the heater on. Um, I do have a gas stove, so that at least I was able to heat things up on the stove and, and I, I do have like a lighter so that the stove can turn on and then I do actually have a glass fireplace 
And I probably could do the same. Oh, there's a random drill in there. Let me take that out. Probably incomplete kidding down. Man, it's like not wanting to get out there. Um, I do have a gas fireplace too. And I guess if really need be, I could have turned that on. Um, but I don't, yeah, it probably would heat up enough to do something, but you would have to just be right next to the gas fireplace. But otherwise, I haven't really turned that thing on. It, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't... <laughs> I could probably get the same effect from just the... From the gas... Um, just from getting a heater on as opposed to using the gas fireplace. There's still one more in there. So, yeah. And I've contemplated... Um, like, now that it's winter, I'm thinking this is the time to see about um, adding air conditioning to my house. Because, let me just tell you, 2021 summer was so hot. Um, and it just was just not comfortable way of living. Um, but see, the thing is, 2020 was not hot. 2019 was not hot. So it just seems like one of those, like... Frivol, 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 frivolous, um, expensive to do. I don't even know if I said that right. Um, because I have no idea if 2022 is going to have the crazy hot summer that 2021 had. Um, but if it does, I, I, I need the air conditioning. Um, you, if you've been watching my channel a while and <laughs> you were watching what, during my summer months <laughs> where I pretty much complained about how hot it was in almost every video, um, cause it was hot cause I'm not used to that kind of heat and I don't have air conditioning because we don't get that kind of heat here normally. Um, it's snowing outside. I mean, <laughs> um, we have a heater, but we don't have air conditioning most of the time, but now I'm pondering it might be worth that worth that money to get that air conditioning done. So I'm thinking if I'm thinking like in January to call a couple places and see how much it is um, to put it to put air conditioning in the house. I mean, I know it's going to cost a couple thousand, so. I have I just have to deal with that the cost of owning a home right but you know I didn't end up using my stimulus check from uh, my stimulus checks from you know 2020 so maybe that's something to use my stimulus checks for I was one of those people that I was one like one of those people that was bad I guess for the economy is that I I didn't really need to use it, so I put it away in savings. So, and it didn't do what it was supposed to do, as in use the stimulus check to stimulize, stimulus, stimulus check the economy, I don't know. So this could be my way of using it after the fact. Hopefully prices haven't gone like crazy high now. But yeah, we will see. It'll be, yeah, it'll be a nice, ni not nice, but it would be a substantial investment into putting in air conditioning. But it would be a substantial increase of my um, life, um, quality of life, right? So that's important. You don't want to be miserable. You don't want to hear me be miserable <laughs> because it's just too hot. Okay, so that one is done. Um, see, I'm making use of all of this label, ra random side sides of my labels. Um, that one's done. Um, <laughs> Now I'm pawn yeah, I'll just kit these up because I'll end up having to kit them down. Um, 
So how many drills are in here? So this is the glasses case. So maybe I'll just do these into here because it just seems wasteful to come up with a new storage. Let's see. So glasses case. There's six in there. I could probably put the glasses case in here. So let's see. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the mandala because unless one of these are it. I have one other special down there. And those are the drills for that. So the only other drills that I don't have anything for is this one. And if the drills seem to match up, there's supposed to be 12 colors. Oh, wait! This might be it because these are, it says YX100 and this is YX100. So yeah, this might work out. So I'm gonna just do this glasses case since I have it out already. So that is the drills for it. So I didn't lose it, you know, cause I could have lost it, right? So let me do these glasses case in here. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a very long, 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 long video because I'm mass kidding up because like I said I'm kidding up for two now so these are my glasses case here it was just that the you see this it says like YX100 so I thought that was the name of the diamond painting but no that's just the name of but the DZ240 is in there, so that, that's the right thing, so nope, I didn't lose anything. This glasses case, let's see, it's 16 by 5. So I'm just going to put that because that's what's getting diamond painted. And it, it's a partial... It's with poured glue. There is six, seven colors. There is no crystal code. It's still 12, 20, 20, 21. And there is five crystal rhinestones and two specials. So then this is 393 glasses case and let's use red for this so this is number one and then two three four five six and seven and a lot of people don't bother kidding these up but I also do my kidding downs in mass um, I do mass kitting down, so it's just better that they're in containers for me instead of having them loose leaf, loo like in loose baggies. So, so number one for the glasses case, it's this lovely green here. in the bag here. So, yep, mass kidding up. <laughs> Number two. See, I'm, I'm pondering what to do with my glasses case. I was thinking of using it to put, like, labels in or something, or my pens. Um, but if, I might actually just use it for my reading glasses that I dab and paint with. Um, I'm pondering, do I need to bring my reading glasses? I mean, I could, I could down paint without my glasses. Um, it just, you know, the reading glasses just adds that extra 
that little bit of extra magnification. Um, but then if I were to, um, yeah, I don't have time to diamond paint this before going off to my sister's house and then I would have to seal it too. So I don't have time to diamond paint and seal it. Oh wow, that was bad. I dropped all of the drills. Came out, alas. Okay, so one good thing is I could just have these pour onto my tray off the side of my table. So not complete disaster, just somewhat disastrous. Probably because I've been doing too many kidding ups right now. This is a massive mass kidding up. That wasn't that bad. Oh, there's still one more there. Wait, and that is number four. Making use of my garbage label paper, right? Number five. I don't even know what why the drills went and flew like that, but yeah, like I said, disaster, but not completely a massive disaster. This is why I don't I try to diamond paint on top of a tray, and I don't try to diamond paint on top of my containers. Like I know some people I've seen some people kit up and they kit up directly on top of the containers, and I'm like, nope, that's just asking for disaster. <laughs> so, oh, this one's pretty. It's a gold marquee. And number seven. Too bad these are the smaller baggies. Okay, so I got the glasses case and I have figured out my mandala problem. <laughs> so, so continue on onwards. So I'm thinking my mandala, my I'd be able to put my pencil case in with my mandala. So mandala here. Um, let's do another page in my journal here, and I guess this would be a really good way of testing out my journal with all of these small ones. Why can't I take off? There. And plus this is much smaller than my bigger journal, so it'll be more transportable. Transportable? Yeah, that's the right word. I'll be able to take it around with me. Okay, so the mandala is... Let's see, it's a 24 by 24. Oh, I need mine. So these, these stickers I just make from my, I have like an inventory spreadsheet and then I use mail merge to make the stickers, yeah. Um, <laughs> It's a partial, it's on poured glue. There are 12 colors in this. There is a crystal code and it's still 12, 20, 20, 21. And let's look at this. Okay, so there's, that's one. One, two, three. There's three crystal rhinestones. There's one AB color um, drill and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight specials, and that should be eight plus three plus one, yep, that's twelve. So, next one. Oh, these are the ones with the four connected. I do still have one. Yes, I had to, like I said, I had to do a kidding down just so that I'd be able to kit these up because I need a lot more of the containers. So, 
Oh, I need to make a label for which diamond painting this is. So this is number 397, 397 Mandala. And let's cut that out. And let's put 397 on this. Just so I know what matches what. So number one. Okay, there's two bags of number one, so I'll probably need three of these. So. There's my bag. I used to have like a garbage um, container here for my like empty bags, but I was just, just one day I was like, why don't I just put it directly into the, just put it directly into the bag that you took it out of. And that's what I've been doing since. It does make doing the garbage much easier. Okay, so there is some static on this. Um, I can see it. I'm gonna put some lotion on because it's probably got some drier because it's already I'm already an hour and 30 minutes into this video <laughs> so yeah kidding up takes a long time especially if you're doing a mask kidding up but it doesn't take that long um, considering I think in the end um, it it'll make the diamond painting diamond painting process so much easier So yeah, I think just adding the lotion to my hand helped a little bit of me not being the source of static. So, number 50. The sticker maker adhesive is kind of acting weird on this canvas right now, so um, it's kind of not all pulling out. So hopefully it's just enough adhesive to stick to the containers. Number three. But yeah, no, this is why I got confused because now these ones just say YX070 and I thought that was the, the canvas number because usually that's what, how you, you associate the things with. There is usually a number on the canvas here and that's why I was like, oh no, I lost that the drills because get the wrong bag of drills because, you know, you don't ever really want to have to contact diamond painting companies because you got the wrong something. It's just too much effort. Because as much as you want to test their customer service, actually you don't. You don't ever want to test the customer service of a company because that means something went wrong um because yeah otherwise she just want you just want the stuff to to be exactly what they said it was oh that was a failure in <laughs> pouring but that's why i have the tray below so YX155 Did I put that in the wrong place? See this one says YX109 So these things are not in order Why? So I'm pretty sure I said that other one was YX155. So, and then now that I'm looking at it, it's it's a circle there, but these are teardrops. So 
Now I have to be careful they're, because they're not in order. So this was YX155 here. Okay. And then YX076 is the next one and it's this label. So yeah, they weren't, they're not in order there. Okay. Have to pay more attention. Pay more attention. Um, there. To make sure I'm not messing up my... So YX108 is this one. Because they're not... The, the strips are not in order how it, it is on the canvas. Um, maybe that's why it says the, the number instead of like it being in order. And then this one says YX209, and it's this one here. So just a little added added adventure of this kidding up here. And then this one says YX219, the next one, and it's this one here. Now I'm pondering, like, I've been, I kidded up all of this, I'm like, am I actually, are we actually, am I gonna be able to <laughs> down pay all of this? If not, then I will just, it'll just eventually get down painted because it's kitted up. Um, because I feel like it's more likely to get down painted if it's kitted up than if it's not kitted up right. <laughs> Although I have had, I have some stuff that is kitted up and that has been kitted up for almost a year so and I haven't started it so I don't know about my logic there okay so I think I think I got everything in the right place after I realized they are not in order so one last one one last one because it's not done yet we're going to do my pencil case here the pencil case here And let's go put it in to this journal here. So pencil. I have my one last sticker here. Usually I don't have a problem taking this out there. There. Pencil case. And then my one last sticker here. And how big is said pencil case? It is about 20 and a half by seven. So 20.5 by seven. And I'm just measuring the part that actually gets done painted. So this is a partial on poured glue. There is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 colors. There is no crystal code. It's still 12, 20, 20, 21. And there is, let's see, there's one, one AB, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Crystal rhinestones and one, two, three, four, five specials, and that does equal ten. And I think it'll fit in here, so yay! So here is so the pencil case is three ninety two pencil case, and let's use red. For this, so let's see. One, I said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I don't know if it's like, it's so like economical of me just using these 
label scraps. <laughs> yeah, I'll call it economical instead of, you know, cheap or something. Yeah, these are like the labels from when I make labels for my kidding down stuff. Um, you know, where I had like all my DMC color labels. These are just the leftover label paper from that because I don't know why I kept it, but I kept it. And then I was like, why am I keeping this? I might as well use it if I'm making the effort to keep this. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm using it since I made the effort to keep it. Um, but hey, it's, it's useful. And I know these, um, for whatever reason, I bought these labels a long time ago. They actually come off my containers really easily. So I figure at least I know they're removable. And I've been just using them for these purposes since I'm going to take these off anyway. Man, I used to be so much like, I, I used to went, go extra on my labels and then now I'm just like, let's cut out the legend. And I, I mean, I'll still probably go extra on my labels for my bigger diamond paintings. Just I just haven't seen the point in doing it for these smaller ones, so... Because, you know, it takes effort to scan the legend and print it. And while it looks great, and the fact that you could make the labels um, bigger or smaller based off of what you need... I do have the sticker maker, so I might as well use it. And I was only using the sticker maker when diamond paintings came with the um, inventory sheet, but I've noticed few, very few diamond paintings come with the inventory sheet, so um, I never ended up using my sticker maker much. In fact, I only just finished using my first roll of sticker paper. Um, if I knew that the, the rolls were going to get so much more expensive, I would have bought more when I first got the sticker maker, but you know, you never expect things to get that much more expensive, right? Actually, no, things always just get more expensive. So, nine. And this is actually a very long video. Didn't expect it to be this long, but I should have known with how many I was kidding up. Because how many did I kid up? I don't even know. <laughs> So, last color here. But yeah, didn't expect to kit up this much. Well, I did. I expected to kit up this much. So I should have known it was going to take this long. So, yeah, finished my marathon kitting up here. Um, so... Look out for, I don't know, some or all of these finishes sometime in the future. Um, but that's all for today. So I hope you guys have a happy new year. Um, and I'll see you in 2022. Bye.